Hey guys, John here. Today I want to show you a very interesting workflow tip that I don't know if you're aware about. So basically what I have going on here is I have pigments, my synth of choice for this video, and I have four different patterns here. As you can see, they're labeled one, two, three, and four. So if we listen to this back, it's going to sound something like this. So nothing too interesting. This is more so for demonstration purposes, but let's say I come into the situation where I have one synth, so in this case pigments, but I want to have different type of effects on that synth for different parts of the song. Maybe for this first intro here, I want it just like this. But maybe on two, I want to have something different, maybe some distortion and some reverb on it. But maybe later on in the song, I want just a lot of reverb on it. And then maybe at the end, I want to have some other type of effects that, you know, maybe some reverb or something, something crazy. So basically the idea is using one synth, one channel down here and, or one track down there or insert, and basically toggling between different types of effects so you don't have to burn up all these inserts down here. So an easy way to do this is using patcher. So if I turn this on right here, all these inserts, take a li listen to see what happens here. So the way to get this done here is what I've done, if I go back to the start here, you can see all of these are off, right? All these mix knobs are off here. And if we open up our automation here, we can see that this first pattern here, it's, this is gonna be off, which is corresponding to this first patcher. And then on the second bar here, once we go right here, this is gonna be on. So this first one's gonna be toggled on. The third one, the second one here of patcher is gonna be on and the first one's off. And then on the last bar, the fourth bar, the uh, let's go a little bit further here. On this fourth bar, the third patcher here is on and then the next two are off. So let's take a look and see what's happening. So for our very first one, all of these are off. So there's no effects going on as we can see all these knobs right here, very low or at zero. So now we enter this phase right here. And as we can see, this first patcher is on. So if we click this here, I put a lot of overdrive, so Fruity Blood overdrive here, and I kind of cranked it quite a bit for, for demonstration. I ran that through a reverb and then back out. Now with this patcher, you can get in depth as much as you want. You can really create your own uh, your own rack within this, within this plugin, it's pretty amazing. So then moving on, once this plays through, we go to the third bar, which is this weird kind of sound here. And if we open up this second patcher, I have two vintage choruses going into each other. So the first one is going to be right here with the wet all the way to the top. And the second one is also pretty close to the top. So it's, it's pretty intense here. And then that's also going through an EQ, which is cutting off the low ends, boosting some highs and whatnot. And then the very last one has a weird kind of maybe delay-ish effect, which I, ha I have it running through a destructor with some Harmer log distortion. I turn these other ones off here, and then I put some fruity delay right after that. And then I put another EQ on it as well and kind of just messed around with the, with the curve here and brought the level down just a little bit. So this way we can only use one channel or insert down right down here and have multiple multiple different type of effects racks on our slots here, depending on how we want to program it. And you might ask yourself why I did the mix knob here instead of the on off toggle, because if you right click, you can also create an automation clip. So I did the mix level here and I did use hold more for demonstration purposes, but with this knob here, you can actually fade them in and out. So it's not such an abrupt change if they're happening really short. So that's one little, uh, kind of advantage for that. So something to keep in mind, it's a very cool workflow tip and it kind of saves you a lot of these instrument, uh, or inserts down here at the bottom and you can really customize really in depth however you want with patchers. So hopefully that helps you out in your workflow or maybe if you ever come into it, you can say, we can do that, we have the technology. So hopefully that helps you and we'll see you in the next video.